All right, so I'm sitting here doing some work to the bourbon and uh, listening to some podcasts, and people are losing their damn minds over this no trans people in the military tweet from Donald Trump. All right, and there's a lot to discuss here. All right, and there's a lot of a lot of things we need to understand to properly have a back and forth conversation about this particular issue because people on both sides are losing their damn minds. People on the right are losing their minds. People on the left are losing their minds. They're going at each other. Some are going after Trump, all this kind of stuff. Let's take a step back here and discuss a few things, a few hot topics about this particular issue. Now, the first part of this video, I'm going to talk directly to people over on the left. Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys, all right? One thing I want you guys to understand is that Donald Trump is the most pro-LGBTQ community president we've ever had. Period. Barack Obama came into office saying he was against gay marriage for traditional marriage. Donald Trump has been for gay marriage for years. Do you not remember on the campaign trail when he went to those events and he was holding up the rainbow flag? How when this whole bathroom issue came up just last year while they were campaigning that he was basically saying, you should be able to go into whatever bathroom we want. I don't know why it's a big deal. Okay? This is ridiculous to think he, he hates gay people. He's, he's got an anti-gay agenda, an anti-trans agenda. No, he doesn't. He is more pro-LGBTQ than any president we've ever had, period. That's just a fact. Also, can we roll it back here on getting so upset about him when he tweets something? Him tweeting something does not change policy. There has been no change to the military policy on trans people, period, at all. It has not happened. He even says in his tweets, he's listening to some people, some advisors, some generals, probably in a meeting somewhere, probably bitching about some stuff. And he decides to tweet about it. Does Donald Trump tweet too much? Does Donald Trump sometimes act like an offended 14-year-old girl when he tweets? Yes and yes. Does that mean he's anti-gay, anti-trans? And does that mean this is a policy change? No, it doesn't. Okay? So get your panties out of a bunch and calm down. All right? Another thing. This whole issue of we have a right to serve in the military. No, you don't, buttercup. You don't have a right. The military, in all its forms, in all its branches, throughout the history of our country, has always been able to deny people joining its ranks if they don't think you will live up to the standards they have set, period. Okay? It's just like any other job. Okay? If you don't qualify for that job, you don't get the job. There's no right to serve in the military in this country, period. Stop with that argument. Also... I am very much a you-do-you kind of guy. I don't care what you do. I don't care who you are, who you marry. I don't care what you want to cut off yourself or add on to yourself or whatever. I don't care. I cannot personally imagine what it's got to feel like to not feel comfortable in your own skin, to feel like you are a different gender than you should be. That's got to feel horrible, okay? But don't make the military, i.e. my tax dollars, pay for your gender reassignment surgery. I wouldn't ask you to pay for the stuff I care about. Okay? Don't make me pay for that. That's a big one right there. That's a big reason why a lot of people have issue with transgender people going into the military. Because then they get out of the military and then they use tax dollars through whatever forms of insurance they have afterwards that the military is paying for. And they're getting this surgery done. And sometimes it's even happening while they're still in the military. Okay, And we're the ones paying for it. And that's a big reason why some people have a problem with this. If you want to do whatever it is you're going to do, that's fine. Don't ask me to pay for it. Now, let's talk to all of you over there on the right, okay? We have to really take this opportunity to just calm the hell down because people are getting way too excited about something that, first of all, like I said, has not become a policy change and just really, really going overboard with this thing. Look, here's all I'll say. Most people who get into the military and who eventually, you know, discover themselves, become trans, whatever it is, okay, there are no issues with them in the military. The vast majority of these people, okay, they go into the military when they're 18 years old, they don't know what they're doing with their life yet, they, they go, they, they put in their time, they get out, and then they rediscover themselves. So what's happening in the military is not affecting the military, okay? They are just normal, average, everyday people in the military. They're not, they're not all of a sudden showing up in dresses, okay? They're not clinger from MASH, all right? They're just normal soldiers every day. And at that point, I, I have to ask, I have to ask, if somebody's there, if they can maintain the standards of doing their job, and that is a big thing. We have to, we have to take that into consideration for those of you over on the left. If you think you should be able to enter the military and then not live up to their standards, guess what? You need to get the fuck out. Okay? Don't join the military if you can't live up to their standards. But, to those of you on the right, if they can join, 
If they can live up to those standards, if they can hike 20 miles with a pack on, if they can carry that rifle, if they can shoot just as good as the man next to them, okay? If they can sit there in a hole, if they can put their balls, quite literally in some cases, and their lives on the line, why do you care whether or not they might have some sort of internal struggle that later on in life might affect them in a way that causes them to want to get some sort of surgery or live their life a different way? If that person is there with you through hell and they're doing everything you're doing, what do you care? We all have our problems to deal with. Every one of us has issues, all right? But if we can do our damn jobs, especially in the military, if you can do your damn job, why do you guys on the right care? Sit down, calm down, say thank you for your service, and walk away.